A new software update for the iPhone is available today and it's iOS 18.5 developer beta 1 and in this video I'm going to be telling you all the new features and changes that you need to know. The update size on the iPhone 16 Pro comes in at 7.65 gigs and this was actually the same size that iOS 18.4 came at. Alongside this update we also got beta 1 versions of watchOS 11.5, visionOS 2.5, tvOS 18.5, macOS 15.5, iPadOS 18.5 and of course iOS 18.5. The new build number that this update comes with is 22F5042G and the G at the end means that this update is highly unstable. In the about section depending on the iPhone you have you actually see that the modem firmware version has been updated for better connectivity. After updating to this version some iPhone users have reported seeing a new welcome to iPhone screen. Under settings if we go to the accessibility and then touch all the way down we have the back tab and if we turn on this animation that has been brought back show banner and then double tap the back of our phone you can see it now has this new animation that shows up and the banner really pops up to let you know you've initiated the back tap accessibility shortcut. In the Apple email application they've now updated this option by adding the show contact photo that you can turn on and you can see right here it shows the photos or the associated icons of those in your inbox. In the control center they've added more actions that you can add and to be specific when you search for home you can see instead of just the small action they've added one with four different icons that you can actually add. In settings general and then where it talks about Apple Care and warranty this page has actually been updated it does have a little bit of a delay when initially opened and you can see the font has changed right here and when you open your device information and coverage you can see this page has been updated but at the same time you can actually jump into the Apple support application from this section. In photos when you go to your deleted album right there and then initiate it or open it using Face ID you can see now here they've added these options by giving you filtering options that you can choose from and you have different view options and at the same time they've added the ability to recover all your photos. In the control center this combination actually matches what's on the status of the network indicator but unfortunately the standalone individual cellular data icon under connectivity doesn't match that which is in the network status bar. Battery intelligence unfortunately has not yet been added to tell you how much time is left when you connect your device to a charger. This update fixes an issue where the Apple Vision Pro app would open up to a black screen or a blank screen when downloaded from the app store so that has been fixed and you can see now this is working. If you were experiencing issues with the notification that bug has slightly been resolved it's not a hundred percent back to its normal default but it's much better than before. Since this update was released today on April 12 you can actually expect the next beta to be coming maybe on April the 14th and then the next after that will be on the 28th not forgetting that iOS 19 the first developer beta is slated to be coming out on June 9th but then between that we might get iOS 18.4.1. The release notes for iOS 18.5 doesn't actually tell us much about the new features and changes contained but as you can tell from this video there were more than we were shown so if you want to keep up to date definitely follow for more.